So we're back again, and we're going to actually draw today. Uh, Chris Petri here. Thanks for coming by. Drawing is a, uh, an incredible skill. Uh, as watercolor artists, we're always looking to uh, better our drawing skills. This is the perfect way to do it. We do it with uh, simplicity. We have just some printer paper here. Um, this is nothing fancy. A pr printer paper, I made a border with some Sharpie marker so I could make my border uh, clear uh, so that you can see it on camera. And uh, that frames out our painting so we know exactly what our border is for our painting. And I have a, a Red Delicious apple here, and this is actually a uh, styrofoam apple that I picked up online. So I can always have this in my studio and I don't have to worry about uh, wondering if I have some fruits and vegetables and uh, subject matter to work with. I have some styrofoam and plastic uh, fruits and vegetables that I have that I've bought over time. And I just have that in a little box in my studio and uh, perfect uh, to uh, work with still life and uh, drawing and painting with these type of uh, styrofoam uh, fruits and vegetables and this apple this red delicious apple is a great uh, my favorite apple so we're going to just take this and we're going to set this up across from us uh, two-dimensionally we're not going to really set this on a table where we might have an like issues with angles we're just going to set it up directly across from us i have a i actually have a small box across from me that's in my studio and I, I have a large styrofoam, two pieces of styrofoam taped together just like this. This is a small version of what I have across from me. And I set that on top of a box so that it's, a, it's at eye level. So when I'm standing here at my table drawing and painting for you, it's actually the apple is sitting on top like this. And this is what I'm seeing. I'm seeing the apple at eye level. So I'm not looking at the apple on an angle at all, like this, three-dimensionally. I'm looking at it just in a two-dimensional fashion, like this. And this is the perfect way to really get your drawing skills going and really start to practice. And if you can practice in two dimensions a lot for quite some time, let's say one year, then when you start to work in your three-dimensional angles, it becomes a lot easier because you're already used to your two-dimensional drawing, you're comfortable with that, and then it's just a matter of uh, getting more of the um, bulk of the object that you're drawing, whatever it is, the subject matter, um, by using, you know, some lines. You, you can draw some lines on your, your paper, and we'll cover that in another time, but, and there's many videos too you can look up for three-dimensional drawing and so forth, but for now, let's just stick with two-dimensional drawing where we're going to take our apple and put it on a board across from us at eye level. That's the challenge of this is however you're working when you're drawing at home, getting your subject matter to a point where it's two-dimensional like this can be a challenge. What I did is I used a cardboard box and again I used an L-shaped, large L-shaped styrofoam uh, backer. So I have a backer board and then a foam top platform here. So it's a platform and a backboard in an L shape. You know, I put that on top of a box next to me so I can look across from me over here on this side over here. So I have it set up to my right, but it's lo it looks just like this when I'm looking across from me. It's two dimensional, so all I'm seeing is really the bottom of the apple, the top of the apple, and there's no third dimension, it's just two dimensions, height and width. So let's try that. I'm going to put this up across from me, and we'll start. First thing I'll do is I'll start out and we'll put a uh, about one third of the page up. We're going to put a um, st styrofoam or form a uh, foam foam board like that that represents our table our foam foam board table and then we'll say this is our moving box I have taped 
down to the table so it doesn't move around. So that's the moving box. And the back here is the foam board, the back backdrop. Okay, so now the first thing, let's let's we will use a, a just a simple office pencil, number two office pencil. And we're just gonna I'm gonna keep referring back to the picture. Uh, not the picture, the actual styrofoam, red delicious apple I have set up across from me to my right on my foam board at eye level. So this is exactly at my eye level. So if I was to walk up to my foam board, my nose would bump into the board right here. Because it's right at eye level, approximately. Or my eyes would actually. So my eyes would be about right here. Okay, so we're going to continue. And let's start. We're going to do the apple. And we're going to do a preliminary sketch. So just a light a light sketch of this red delicious apple. We're going slow. We're just trying to get all the little angles and curves. And then we have the stem there. And this goes around and it comes down like that oh, and it's got a little bit of a and there we have it that's our red delicious apple and if you think you your a line might be off a little bit you could just gently erase it I think it comes out a little more here like so and then it it goes in like that a little more so I want to capture that make sure that's a little more accurate and this is more just like that perfect there we go so we've used our pencil preliminary sketch we're looking at our apple across from us at eye level this is just two dimensional we're not doing three dimensions where we're complicating things a little bit. We're trying to keep our drawing simple at first. We can practice this drawing technique and keep it simple and this way uh, we get familiar with just the drawing process and scaling things and we want it to fill up our paper here with our apple. It could be a problem if we started out and we, and we made a little small apple, you know, only maybe a 10% of the size of this. Let's get a nice good size apple in our in our uh, rectangle here. So we have our rectangle. We want to fill that rectangle up with subject matter. Um, we don't want to just take a large rectangle and then put a small apple in the center of it, maybe only the size of, you know, like a small um, bit. We want to have a large uh, object here that we're going to paint our apple. Let's fill up the rectangle just like so. Now we're going to go in and we'll do our pen drawing. So we did our preliminary sketch and now let's go in. Let's Basically, we're going to trace over it, but we're still going to look over at our apple across from us just in case we might see something that might look a little different, a line or a curve. And you can change it if you think you see something different. looks good. So we did our preliminary pencil sketch. We went over the top of it with an office pen, a black office pen. Simple enough. And here we're getting a lot of mileage. We're, we're doing two drawings in one. We're doing a pencil sketch first, a pen drawing second. That means we're actually drawing this subject matter twice, which is great. And I know everyone is excited about watercolors on my channel because that's what we do here is watercolors. We're going to do, well, let's just do a little bit of painting, but it's it's off this paper. This is printer paper that you would put into a printer machine, so you're not going to get great results with your watercolor paints. But, in a, in a, you know, in any case, let's just have a little fun. Let's just do a little bit of watercolor wash on top of this just for the, for the sake of having some fun. 
we're not here to be uh, making a masterpiece right now. We're just working on our practice skills. Let me put my palette down there and we'll z there we go. Okay, so we're going to do the same thing, the same approach. We're looking across at the apple that we just drew, you know, did our contour drawing of the apple. Now we're just going to put a quick wash on here to have some fun, to enjoy ourselves and splash on some watercolor paint. I'm going to get myself a nice brush here. I'll use my uh, Raphael uh, watercolor brush. That's a number uh, six. And let's get our colors. We're going to use Alizarin Crimson, Cadmium Red, Alizarin Crimson, and uh, maybe we'll use some of this darker dark over here with a little bit of uh, Cobalt Blue, maybe some purple, French Ultramarine Blue. We'll make like a dark like that. Okay, now let's have some fun. We're just going to have some fun here. I'm not trying to make a masterpiece here. Let's do the light side. So the light's coming from this direction over here. If you sometimes need a little bit of um, a mental note, you can always, on your paper, you can just make a note with the light. Light source is here. Like that. <clears throat> That'll help when you're painting. This way we're going to say, all right, our light is coming from this side, so the shadow side will be over here. Now we're just going to go in and we're going to leave a highlight here, so I'll leave a highlight there. And we're just having a good time here. Shadow side is over here. And my paints are need a little bit of, um, I should have squeezed out some paint here, but we're just having fun. So there's no real No stress here, worries, we're just getting some paint on the paper. A couple splashes like that. And let's get the darker darks over here. Burnt Umber, French Ultramarine Blue, Purple. And let's just get some darker darks over here. Okay, so we have the printer paper. Remember, if it's printer paper, you have to work fast. Don't worry about it. And we'll blend in this highlight a little bit like that. And a little bit of green, olive green, just to make it look interesting a little bit. A little bit of cerulean blue, a couple splashes, and maybe some cerulean blue on there too. We're just having some fun. We, we really enjoy watercolor, so let's just put some watercolor paint on there anyway. And... And that's the stem there. Just make sure it's a nice dark on the right side. The light's coming from the, the left side, so we leave a little highlight there. And I just take some paint and scrub some paint on there, have a little fun. There we go. 
All right, so we did a fun drawing of a, the Red Delicious Apple. Pencil drawing first, lightly. Pen drawing over the top. And then we do some watercolor wash over the top of that pen drawing. Just keeping an eye on the idea of light and shadow. Lights coming from the left this way. Lighter paint, lighter washes over here. And on the right side, you have your shadow side. So you're just going with some darker washes on the right side of that apple. So here we've practiced all kinds of techniques, uh, fundamentals in watercolor and in drawing in just a few minutes. And then we can just take this to our paintings when we're going to do another still life in the future, maybe in a week or two or a month. We'll remember how we did our Red Delicious Apple and how we can use the light and shadow effect as well as how we're going to contour draw, scale things, and uh, make it a beautiful looking painting. Uh, if you haven't subscribed, everyone please subscribe. Uh, hit the notification bell. This way you know when we're uh, creating a new video, you'll uh, have that right away so you can work on it. Check it out if you like. And, um, you know, you might want to uh, skip to the next week. We have lots of videos all the time, all different subject matter. So we might be doing... We might be doing still life one week where we're doing some paintings of apples and oranges and things like this. And then the next week we're doing flowers or seascapes or landscapes. So we do all kinds of subject matter here, all kinds of watercolor paintings. Um, so just come on by, enjoy, learn what you can, get as much information as you can with your watercolors. It'll make your paintings look much more beautiful and you'll have a lot more fun too at the same time. So we'll see you on the next video, everyone. Thanks for coming by again and uh, we'll see you soon. Bye-bye.